PM Pro's member network sites add-on lets you sell sites on your WordPress network or WordPress multi-site setup as part of membership. The subsite that gets created for your members will be automatically deactivated if they cancel or expire membership. It's a great way for agencies or small hosting companies to offer a website as part of a service with recurring payments. I'm gonna walk through a tutorial of this add-on and tell you about a few caveats and things to be on the lookout for. Here's a basic WordPress multi-site install. There'll be a link in the description to the basics of what WordPress multi-site or WordPress network is. This one's set up to use a subfolder installation. That means when sites get created, they'll be created at the domain of the network slash the site name or the slug of that entry. So you can set it up a lot of different ways. You can set it up with custom domains for every subsite on the network but this will be a high level overview of just how this add-on works for this site. So I've already set up Paid Memberships Pro with two basic membership levels, Supporter and Ambassador. I'm gonna log into the backend and I'll install the add-on and we'll see how that works. So go to Memberships Add-ons, we're looking for Member Network Site and click Install. There are a few uh, other ways to use Paid Memberships Pro in a WordPress multi-site environment. So I'll also put a link in the description for our general guide on the three different ways you can use Paid Memberships Pro in your multi-site. So I install and activate this add-on. There's two basic setup steps. One is to navigate to Memberships Settings Pages and locate this new additional page settings section. It has a new section called Manage Sites. This is the front end page that your members will use to access the different sites set up as part of their account. Click over to view the front end of their site and also a link to help them edit uh, their site in the dashboard of that subsite only. So I'm just going to click generate page and it'll automatically create the page and place the required short code um, on that page. There's no other edits you have to do unless you want to customize the content of that site. Uh, and we'll show later how people get a, a link to access this. The next thing you have to set up uh, is which levels get a subsite as part of membership and how that works. So I'm going to add a new membership level that has a monthly fee, and we'll call this a one network site level, and let's $25 per month is fine. Here in the other settings section, you'll see a new settings field called site credits. This is the number of sites that are allowed to be created for the member as part of this network purchase for their membership. So we're going to give them one site, and I'll click save level. Um, so now if I go to checkout for this site, I'm going to log out of my admin account so we can see how this really works. Um, but we'll just show quick how this works in our network. Under our sites, you see there's only one main site set up right now, this multi-site uh, main site. So there's no other sites on my network. And um, there's no other users either. I'm the only super ad. So I'm going to log out. And then we're going to go through the checkout process uh, for this one network site setup. That up. Cool. All right. So at checkout, the users will see a new section to collect information. What is their site name going to be? And what will their site title be? Some sites might rather that they set up their own custom domain. The first step is getting the site created. Then you'll want to set up some kind of onboarding process with people uh, to assist them in pointing their domain to your hosting environment, to the correct IP address of your server, and then also what step you'll take to manually update that for them. You'll probably want to have some kind of SSL set up for them on their site so that it's the most optimized and secure and accessible. Um, most web browsers don't even let people navigate to sites that are not protected by an SSL in these days. So this is just the bare bones way that membership get attached to the website and the subsite status. And there's steps you're going to have to take if you really want to set this up as an environment that automatically creates the sites for people with some domain mapping with an SSL and all of that stuff. I'm not going to go into it too deep in this demo. So site name, it can just be, you know, Kim site. You can put that there. These fields are not always required, but this site has it set up, so we'll go through that quick. Cool, and then I'm just gonna enter a dummy credit card, not a real card, and submit and check out. So I'm signed up now to the site. I'm paying $25 per month, and my site is created automatically. You'll see on the confirmation page, it shares information about their site, a link to view the site, on the front end or access the dashboard and then a link back to that manage sites screen. I'm going to show where that also shows up for people. So if you go back to your membership account page, you'll see this is my membership level, one network site, uh, my invoice for that fee, and then member links also includes a link to my manage sites screen. So I can go to manage sites. It reflects that I've used all my site credits 
If I had more than one site available to me in my membership, this screen would also show fields to add additional sites, giving them their own unique site name and site title. We only had one in this one set up, so we're only seeing one site. So I can click through and visit my site, and now it's a completely different install I'm logged into. I can change anything about it, just like I would my own WordPress site. It's fully mine to customize. I can change my theme. I can add content. I can even, you know, set up my own paid memberships pro if I wanted to allow that. So some things are limited um, for the subsites and some things are not. We actually will put a link in description for how people can limit things uh, if you wanted to limit which themes and which plugins were pre-configured and pre-enabled for people in the network. We have a tutorial that kind of gives the baseline of how you would do that. So you'll see that's me on my subsite here. I can go back to the main site in the network. Uh, view my membership account, and it will show that if I cancel my membership, uh, it will eliminate my subsite. So if I try to go back to the Kim site, it's now no longer available. Uh, it gets automatically deactivated because my membership was also canceled. So it's a good feature to make sure people are keeping up on their payment and that they're always keeping up on it so that their site stays in sync with their membership status in the site. And I'll show one more thing here. I'm still logged into that same user that had the subsite on the network, the Kim's site. If I go back to checkout and try to repurchase my same membership level, it'll show me that I'll be reclaiming the site that was already existing. This is perfect for when maybe someone's credit card payments fail. They don't realize they're on a trip and their site gets deactivated. They can come back and reclaim it. It does not get automatically deleted. You'll have to do that as an admin, as like a cleanup step. But that's a safeguard so that if people inadvertently cancel their site, cancel their membership, you know, just due to failed payment or they didn't get the right email, their site still exists and it's available for them to reclaim if they choose to. So then I'll just go back through checkout to show that my site gets reactivated after completing it. So let's check out. And now my Kim site is back. That one we just, we didn't customize it too much, um, but that's the site that was created. I changed the default theme on it. So that's the member network sites add-on. Check the links in the description for information about how this add-on works. And then the other ways to use Paid Memberships Pro in a WordPress multi-site environment. Multi-sites are not a simple thing to set up. There's a lot of complexity here. So just be aware that it's not really a beginner thing that we would recommend setting up, but for the right people, it's a pretty cool add-on that allows people to enable that turnkey website and hosting SaaS environment. I'm Kim Coleman. I hope that this video was a helpful overview of the member network sites add-on. Give this video a like if it was helpful to you and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this.